We'll head to the northwest United States and eastern Canada. Parts of Montana, Alberta have seen record-breaking snowfall over the past few days, particularly Montana, where Browning received close to a season's worth of snow. This is a whole season of wintry weather in the space of a few days. And don't forget, all that took place in September. Now, the cold air from that has spread eastwards across the rest of Canada, still affecting the Upper Plains and the Rockies. Contrast that with very warm air to the south and east United States. Now, our next story takes us to Eastern Asia, Taiwan, and uh, in particular, where we saw a major typhoon graze the east of the island during the last couple of days. It's now moving its way northwards, Typhoon Mitag. It just pushes to the east of Shanghai at the moment. And then, as they go into Wednesday, it will curl its way northwards and eastwards. So it's going to spring some heavy rain across Seoul and also across South Korea. That could cause widespread flooding, damaging winds, although winds easing compared to what we've had. And then rain sweeps eastwards across Japan. Heavy and thundering places, not as significant as we've seen, but of course, Rugby World Cup on. That may have an impact on and some going to the matches. Now, our final storm is Lorenzo. Here it is, uh, in across the Atlantic, swirling around. It was a Category 5 hurricane, weakening. But as we go through into Wednesday, it's going to clip to the west of the Azores, bringing hurricane-force winds here, torrential rain, and more significantly, waves the height of a seven-storey building.